Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Fat Boy Diaries. Today I thought I'd share an awesome fact. I have a hole in my green screen. What? All right, let's proceed. Today I thought I'd talk about some of my pet peeves that I have that people just assume about me because I am fat. And one of those pet peeves is that every fat person must be depressed because they are overweight. This is a lie. But I know many people who are fat because uh, one, their metabolisms are really low, so no matter how much they exercise, and there are people who exercise a lot, they cannot lose weight and they remain bigger than society would have them being. Which is ridiculous that they have to work that hard just to stay the size they are because people will judge them for getting any bigger. Stupid in my opinion. Some people are just happy being the way they are. Some people just want, you know, they're like, I only live life this life once, I want to eat all the stuff I can get, I want to have all the things that other people are like, no I can't have that, I have to eat my salad because that's my life now. Now. And me, I'm just like, I, I don't need, I like salad, I'll eat it sometimes, but you know, I just don't need it in my life right now, so I'll just have cake, which is a lie, because I hate cake. I want to have a few packets of food, and it's my pet peeve when everyone's like, you just must love cake, because you got some curves on you, you just love eating that cake. And I'm like, no, I do not, I do not like eating cake, it's one of the most... <sighs> nasty things in my life. I will like the sponges. I do not like frosting. Therefore, you cannot have a cake. Uh, cheesecake is a custard. If that was a cake, I'd be like, oh, you're right. I do like cake. If it's cheesecake, in this society, they feel like we must have other people's validation to be who we are. And I am here to tell you that that is not true. Just let that go. Who wants to be your neighbor? Look it up. And that taught me a lot about not needing other people's validations to know that I am a good person and I have a purpose in this life. And I'm going to pursue that with all my passion. This is what I have to say to that. You want to work hard, you want to do everything in your power to make sure that you're not just waiting around for other people to get their heads out of their asses to realize just how talented you are because you are freaking awesome. You. You are awesome. I mean, I know this is me talking to a camera, so I'm like looking at myself and I'm like, I am awesome. I am very awesome. But I'm talking to a person watching this. You guys are awesome. Achieve your dreams. Go work hard. Get it. Get it done. That's what I say. I'm tired of other people's expectations on me. Your parents want you to be a certain way. Your brothers and sister want you to be a certain way. And then sometimes you're just like, I can't be that way for you. Because it's not me. You're making, you're putting me into a bubble, and I want to get free of the bubble that's just constraining me and making me unhappy because I have to appeal your version of who I am. Let that go. Be you, and screw with everything what people have to say about you. You are awesome, and that is something that I really think is important to spread today. Now, uh, I'm a fool. I like to pretend I'm not. I'm very serious in life, but I am a fool at heart. Did you know, scientifically proven, that when you are drunk, it is the same thing that happens to you when you're extremely tired? That is something that is true in my life, and I'm a fool when I get really tired. I'm just like, yeah, let's get at it. You guys wanna, let's go rob a bank. Not really, because I have no, like, getaway car, or no, like, real means, or, you know, like, where would I get a gun, or, like, you know, all those questions. You're like, how would I get away with it? Should I do it? Should I? Should I? And you're like, oh, you know, Ocean's Day's not realistic. No, I couldn't do that. No, that's not, that's not cool. That's not cool. Okay. That's my life. I go on random tangents in my head because literally I will make a situation out of everything. And my dedication to this page came recently because I asked myself, is this something I should be pursuing? Is it something worth it to me? Should I just quit? And then literally two days ago this happened. A woman I never met before walked into my job. She's drunk, to put it bluntly. But she's drunk in like the overly affectionate way. But she never asked me my name. So I was like, this must have been the universe knew I asked this question and brought this woman to me because she was like, you are gorgeous and you gotta go out there and prove to everyone that you are awesome and you are talented. I work at a, a Broadway theater and she's like, yeah, you can go up there because you are really talented and you gotta go out there and prove yourself because I will be very upset at you if you didn't. And I was like, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Random hug with random stranger. That's okay. This isn't where I'm hugging you because there's, you know, witnesses. It's not like, you know, I'm like a subway and I, that's, other people aren't in the car with me and they can, she can just mug me and I'll be like, <laughs> I got mugged by a huge, huge uh, person with long leg and not a little, little skinny wild blonde uh, you know 80 year old also true fact about me i cannot tell age. i think she was in her 40s but truthfully she could have been 80. that's how bad i am with ages girls are like you're playing cameron you're so funny you, call, you think i'm only 20 i'm like <laughs> i'm not playing i really think you're only 20. You, you look not a day over 20 and she's like what you lying i'm 36. i'm like what dang what are you doing with your skin because you look gorgeous Dang, how you doing? And she's like, no, I'm not interested. And I was like, yeah, yeah, story of my life. Thank you guys for watching. That's it for my pet peeves for this episode. Uh, a little change of vibe. I'm too serious and I'm tired of it. Kelly Clarkson said it best. She's like, we are artists and there's a lot of things that go into our art and taking ourselves too seriously only make doing the work that much harder. Not a direct quote, obviously, because <laughs> I don't have time for that. Uh, you can look it up. Kelly Clarkson. It was on like her Ellen show interview. She just happened. Funny story about Ellen. You can check out my, uh, my channel trailer coming out soon if you want to hear my story about Ellen. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!